purpose and a plan for all. Whether everyone will receive and accept the wonderful heart of the Father for them and accept the sacrifice of Jesus, that is down to their free will. But I do sense in this day, in 2021, the Holy Spirit hovering and moving upon the hearts and minds of mankind, of human beings all across the planet. There is a great harvest that is unfolding before us. And you and I are called to be part of it in some way. That is a task that He has for us as we're part of the body of the Most High, the Lord Jesus Christ Himself. Jesus is so excited and so the word's desperate. I'm not sure if it's the right word. You know, I, I'm an English-speaking South African. By the way, this is not denigrating any of the South Africans. There's some who speak English and have a command of the English language far better than I do. <laughs> but, uh, so let me change tack there. Um, as this South African with his command of the English language, but I think you understand what I mean. I think Jesus is desperate. I know, God is not desperate for anything. And He most certainly does not need any of us. But the heart, the compassion, the empathy, the loving heart of our Father in Heaven for each one of us and for those who are yet to meet Him, I think there's a burning desire, and hence my word desperation, uh, on the part of Jesus of Nazareth. He who shed His blood to to establish the new covenant between God and His Word made flesh. God and God made a covenant. God made a covenant with Himself. I know it's a mind bender on a Tuesday morning, but this is how much the Father is desperate. The Son is desperate. And the Spirit of the Most High working tirelessly on this earth to bring about a melting of hearts, bring about a conviction of the mind that causes you and I to cry out and to hunger and to bend our knee before Him. And of course, in the balance of the universe, where there is light, there is darkness, and there is the strategy of the enemy of our souls, Lucifer, the devil, Satan, however you want to name him, if you study scripture and if you even just study the walk of Jesus and the words of Jesus and the actions of Jesus, you will see how he confronted Satan, defeated him, entirely, completely stripped him of all authority, of all power. Our enemy parades around this earth like a roaring lion. And I wouldn't disrespect the enemy. But he is parading around this earth as a roaring lion. He is not the lion of the tribe of Judah. He is not Yeshua. He has been stripped of all authority, all power. Now as a spirit being, he is yet still powerful. And you and I must most certainly be careful that we do not allow ourselves to be deceived and give him of our power, of our faith, of who we are. Let's not yield to him. So the Lord loves you, He loves me, and He is focused on us. He's preparing a place for us. Firstly, our place is prepared in the body of Yeshua. We all make up this glorious body of our Lord Jesus Christ. He is the head, and we make up this body, this metaphorical, this... You know where I'm going with this, right? And it won't be long, and we will be married to the Bride of Christ. Just check out the book of Revelations. When John asks, show me who the bride of Christ is. The bride of Christ is the new Jerusalem that is being prepared so that Jesus can be married to the bride of Christ, that we live as one in the new city of Jerusalem. The glory of God. No sun needed, by the way. In the new structure, when the heavens and the earth pass away, there is a whole new dynamic that Almighty God will create. That's profound. If you're going to believe one part of the Bible, you need to believe it all. And um, you need to study it all. I'm turning the grinder. 
I'm praying in my heavenly language. My mind will be unfruitful unless the Holy Spirit chooses to reveal it to me. There's no one else in the room. It's just you and I. And um, therefore no interpretation of my tongue will come unless the Lord reveals it to myself, which does happen from time to time. But I'm praying the perfect will of the Father. I'm building myself up and I'm edifying myself. It's good to have you with me. Come, let's pray in the Holy Ghost. Ramba darabaki katara da katine. Ramba darabatara da 